you start with that ranch dressing oh, and yeah. any minute it's your like 2,000 yeah. calories later. You're like, I'm eating a salad today, I'm doing a great job, but you're actually eating more of the ranch dressing than the salad. As a beauty editor for New Beauty Magazine, there is always a new product, treatment, or trend to try. I'm Ana Jimenez. Follow me and some of my favorite experts in the industry as we experience everything the beauty world has to offer. This is Beauty Experienced. You hear salad and you think healthy, right? But the reality is that salad can be loaded with hidden calories and fat. So I invited Rachel Talbot from Check in the Mirror on YouTube to meet me at Mrs. Winston's Salad Bar in Los Angeles. Together, we will make our typical lunch salad and then have Michelle Bridges from The Biggest Loser Australia judge just how healthy it really is. We have to make some healthy salads today. All right, the pressure is on. What are you gonna go for? I love to have a salad that's just filled with lots of different, you know, protein, veggies. I do always feel healthy though when I eat a salad. You I feel do. good about myself, like yes. I had a salad. I won today. I did. <laughs> I didn't go with the burger. I went with the salad. This is a good choice. All right, well, let's yeah. go. Let's get started. All right, let's do it. Okay. We went to town crafting our perfect salads. From the looks of it, Rachel made a pretty healthy salad. I, on the other hand, kind of went for it. See, this is the problem with salad bars. After our salads were complete, it was time for the moment of truth. Michelle came to critique our choices. First up, my salad. You have made some great choices, and then you've made some choices that I thought, mm, we could have we could have gone a little better there. The noodles uh, look like there's been some sort of sauce maybe put through them or cooked with them. Unless it specifically tells you what's in it, I'd be thinking there's probably going to be sugar in there and maybe extra oil and, and salt even. You're not going to like my tofu then the, either. The, the tofu is fine. It's what's going on. It. It's just like the peanut sauce. The salt. yummy peanut sauce. <laughs> <laughs> That's so what makes it delicious. I'm sure it does. <laughs> But what you could do is use things like that have got more, you know, more spicy like jalapeno peppers or chili. If you like a pack a punch with your flavor, then you could go down that path. Choices of kale was brilliant, and I think you put some cheese in there as well. Feta. Feta cheese is fantastic. Low fat or normal? You know what? Sometimes I say normal, but just go less because that gives you the flavor that you're looking for. I just like swap out the the peanut sauces and the noodles. I love that you put some. Uh, onion in there. A lot of people worry about, you know, the onion breath and all of that, but there's some That was great my thing. <laughs> I was like, I, I, was like I have to stand close to them. <laughs> <laughs> but there is some really good antioxidants and great for your gut. And then I got a ginger sesame dressing on the side. What do you feel about, how do you feel about that? I love the fact that you chose ginger because ginger is so good for you, but it's been already pre-made. If they had ginger slices, I'd say run that through your salad. Mad way to pack a punch in your salad. And ginger is excellent for you. Really good for your tummy as well. If you suffer from bloating. Mm. Ooh, good to know. Mm. All right, Rachel, you're in the hot seat. I'm really excited about this one. Quinoa is fantastic. The reason it's one of the only um, grains, so to speak, that has protein. It's not a huge amount like meat, but it's still pretty good, particularly if you are a vegetarian. It's a great choice. Does it have fiber in it too, or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so it'll keep you fuller longer. Exactly. And you put in some avocado for good good fats. And I only put just two because I know that they're a little high they, in calories. They can be high, yeah. And I love that you put an egg in there as well. A lot of people are frightened of eggs. They think, oh, I should only eat the whites. The yolk is still very good for you. Yes, it's high in fat, but it's not a huge amount. Our grandparents and great-grandparents ate eggs and they didn't have an obesity epidemic, so I don't think it's the eggs that are killing us. If you could grade our salads, what would you oh, give us? Oh my gosh, I the pressure. I, <laughs> I, would, I would definitely say that uh, I'd probably give you about a six and a half. Okay, six and a half. And I would probably sit this at around about uh, an eight, eight and a half. Now, you girls made your salads. I have a surprise for you. I made one too. Great. <gasps> no pressure. <laughs> But here it is. And what I did is um, I, I kind of divide my plates up. Like I, I do this to, to educate people. So mm. half your plate should be your vegetables, a quarter of your plate should be your protein, and the other quarter should be, you know, like your um, healthy fats and maybe uh, your low GI carbohydrates. Wander around first and just make a decision on what it's going to be rather than just going, okay, next, next, right. next. Oh, there's more? Oh, next. No, I've got to have some. So make your. Go in with a go plan. Go in with a plan, case the joint, and then put your plate together. I did the kale thing because I love it. So it's so good for you. And I did broccoli, which is a very good superfood as far as high nutrients. 
um, the red kidney beans and the white cannellini beans. Fantastic fibre. They're going to help me feel fuller. So I'm not just eating this salad and then five minutes later I'm still hungry. The tuna is my protein, so and it's done in, in water, so it's not going to be full of oil. And I can put my dressing on and mm -hmm. be the one to you know, the master of my destiny of how much dressing is going to go on there. So I go water-based and then I dress it myself. Avocado for good fats and mushrooms are great antioxidant and full of vitamins as well. And I threw on some strawberries just to give my salad a little bit of a pop. Great. All right, well, let's go eat. Do you want to swap salads? <laughs> <laughs>